Jonathan's going to step up to this pulpit and he's going to deliver the message that God gave to him. And when he stands here in this place, we need to give him respect. He is small in his physical stature, but he's growing spiritually. And what we need to do is pray that we would see more young boys and your more young girls being trained to know and to love and to honor and respect and obey Jesus Christ and His Word. We're going to have a privilege today to hear his first sermon. I said first because he's been writing more sermons ever since. So don't let his stature or his youth distract you. What you're hearing today is a message from God spoken through a child. There's another scripture that says, and a child shall lead them. And he's got some good news for us today, so I don't care who you are, if you listen to the message. Jonathan Reed, would you come up here? Let me get out of the way and let God speak through this young man. Believe 
in his heart who Jesus is and how to be born again. This passage doesn't tell you if Nicodemus believed in the one true God. If you believe in God, then you don't have to worry about anything, even death. A long time ago, a woman in her name Nero was killing Christians. All they had to do to be set free was say they didn't believe in Jesus. They refused to say they didn't believe in Jesus, so they were killed. They were not afraid of dying because they knew they had Jesus and they would be born again and they would go through heaven. The last thing I want you to learn from this passage is that God wants you to be with him in heaven. John 3, 17 and 18 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in him stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. God didn't put us here to sin and lie, but for us to walk with him in heaven. In the beginning, when God made the world, there was no sin. In Genesis 1 31, it says, God saw that all he had made, and it was very good. Sin is not good. So we know there was no sin then. There's no sin until Satan came, and Adam and Eve chose to go against what God had said. That was not God's plan for people. We each choose for ourselves to sin or to believe. A sinner has to go to hell and be separated from God. But if you are in heaven, you will see a smiling face as you walk along smiling. What about you? Are you like Nero who wanted to get rid of Christianity? Are you like Nicodemus who wanted to know about Jesus but didn't really seem to understand why Jesus was there? Or are you like the early Christians who were willing to die for their belief in Jesus? Mr. Steve is going to come up and lead us in the song. I don't want any of you guys to leave without knowing the Almighty God and His Son who died for you. If you don't know God, please come up and talk to Pastor Rick. He will love to share with you. And also, if you don't have a church to call home, we want you to call this your home. God loves you. Do you love Him?